Hello friends and welcome to another episode of the English version of Defense Matrix. Today we talk about the Rafale F4 which is an upgrade of the version purchased by the Indian Air Force the F3R. At the outset let's be clear that there aren't a whole lot of differences between them. The F3R is itself the extended versatility version of F3 and many of the new technologies developed for the F4 have already been retrofitted into this version. The Indian version of the Rafale, the F3R, is quite an advanced machine, and the handful of progressions on the F4 might also be retrofitted back into it. We'll speak to these differences at a high level, since the finer details of such features are typically not available in the public domain. The Rafale F1 version was a naval version, and then with the F2 came air-to-ground and air-to-air capabilities. The F3 and F3R are called extended versatility versions. In other words, true omni-role capabilities were introduced only in the F3 and F3R versions. Now, the F4 has been developed with an emphasis on network-centric warfare and is a strong focus on connectivity. Daso believes that in future warfare connectivity will play a critical role. We're talking about new satellite and intra-patrol links, communication server, and modified software-defined radios that are faster and more secure. There have also been reports around a radar sensor upgrade. The F3R version uses the RBE 2 AAA ASA radar which is a basically a gallium arsenide based radar. An upgrade from here could mean a gallium nitride based radar instead which could really boost efficiency. It's highly likely that France may be working on this technology since this is something a number of countries are interested in. These things are usually not publicly announced, but it'd be surprising if France isn't working on this in the background. It's quite possible that we might get to see a gallium nitride based radar on the F4 version and if that comes to pass it would count as one of the most significant improvements over the F3. There are also reports of upgrades coming in the front section electronics, TV camera, infrared sensor or simply electro optical sensors. Even now this technology already exists in the F3R version and they work very well. The TV camera can identify targets from 40 kilometers away, while the electro-optical sensors can identify targets over 100 kilometers away. Even so, improvements are being reported on these aspects, but it's not yet clear as to what exactly these modifications could be. Then, there are reports of introducing an improved helmet-mounted display. That's the French-made top sight helmet manufactured by Thales, which might replace the Israeli display and sight helmet or dash helmet. that's currently in use by the Rafales owned by the Qatar Air Force and likely the Indian Air Force as well. This is an advanced helmet mounted display that plays a crucial role in close combat engagement and a version of this top sight helmet might already be in use in the MiG-29Ks operated by the Indian Navy. Then, speaking of weapons upgrades, the Mika NG, that's the next generation Mika missile, should be integrated with the Rafale F4. However, other versions of the Rafale will also eventually carry the Mika NG and not just the F4. The Indian Air Force will also be using the Mika NG when weapons integration is complete. The Mika NG upgrade is primarily on the sensors side. The infrared version of the missile uses matrix sensors which greatly enhances sensitivity. However, the radio frequency version uses the active electronically scanned array, so it's able to destroy stealth targets. When it comes to range in air to air mode it will be able to hit targets at a range of about 100 kilometers also there's likely to be a bigger 1 ton version of the smart munition hammer which is currently only around 200 what's more expect to see changes that improve maintainability and aircraft availability which refers to the proportion of the aircraft fleet that's ready to fly at any given point in time the f4 will have prognosis and diagnosis systems which will help in predicting maintenance issues This would be accomplished using AI tools which are expected to make a big difference. In fact, this is quite an important factor that's often missed or overlooked when discussing aircraft. After all, no matter how lethal the aircraft, it's just no use if it can't leave the ground when it needs to. A quick note before we close. Validation for the Rafale F4 has been planned for 2024 and deliveries to the French Air Force planned to begin by 2027 and 28. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Jai Hind.